Why are all the little girls at school blonde and white skinned and I am not? When you bring a child into your home that is, a, is of a different race, then it is very, very important as an adoptive parent or a foster parent to not be afraid of the conversation, um, to know that I'm different than you, you're different than me, but there's also a lot of similarities and we can celebrate both. We can celebrate how we're different and we can celebrate how we're the same. Um, there are a lot of tools that actually help with this kind of conversation. Um, there's a lot of children's books that, that we have uh, at the office at, at Deaconess um, that we can share and, and rent out to people that help us help you be able to have the conversation with your child um, about why skin colors are different and how we're all still human and how we all still have very similar hearts and minds. Um, also, something else, some other ways to be able to help a child um, understand that the differences between their parent and themselves doesn't make them a completely different um, human is by the parent being able to be aware of what diversity do I actually expose my family to? Do I have any kind of color in anywhere that I go? So one idea would be a hairdresser. Do you go to a hairdresser who has um, the same color of skin as you or the same color of skin as your child? Um, do you go to restaurants that have a different type of cultural feel? One of the best things about being in a bigger city is um, there are a lot of opportunities to experience even different cultural experiences. Um, like being able to, there was a, a Chinese um, pageant that wasn't, wasn't long ago in Oklahoma City. And, and different shows, uh, Broadway musicals, all different kind of um, experiences that, that you might be able to take your child to, to kind of celebrate some of what their heritage might be. And that then they're able to see and experience with you that you celebrate um, how they're different and you celebrate where they come from. And it's not something that is um, unaccepted or weird. And, um, and then also an another blessing is we've got a lot more awareness of diversity now in our toy makers. So the American Girl dolls all have different colors, Barbie dolls all have different colors, Disney princesses. So there's a lot of different things that you can go to either in movies or in the store to be able to um, surround your child with, with all different kinds of colors. So it doesn't feel so isolating if at their school it's all one race and then their, your child is, is the one that stands out. Um, another aspect of transracial adoption is just not having fear. Um, as the parent, you are setting the stage of how to walk into that conversation to help provide words for your child to understand that, yeah, I'm a, I'm a different race than the home that I am living in, my parents they, who love me and, and are taking care of me, but that doesn't mean that I am um, completely different as a human being. And, and also not being afraid to prepare your child for the possibility of experiencing any kind of um, racism from different people in the community. Um, hopefully we all uh, have a, a good understanding of where those places might be and we can try to keep our child from being unnecessarily exposed to racism. But the reality is there are places and there are times where you don't expect it and something might be said or um, a look could be shot in your direction or in your child's direction. So just not being afraid and knowing that the conversation needs to be had and the conversation needs to continue. And the more confidence and um, bravery you feel to be able to have that conversation, um, the more your child's going to feel like it's not a huge scary issue.